focus is to show you from the pages of the scriptures God's prophetic destiny for your life. What he has preordained, what he has preplanned for your life before you got in here. And I'm glad to announce to somebody today. He said, my counsel shall stand. My destiny for your life shall stand. And I will do all your pleasure. That's what we read in Isaiah 46 verse 10. As though that scripture is powerful. Isaiah 46 verse 10, he said, My counsel, my purpose, my plan, my destiny for you from above shall stand. And I will do all my pleasure. In other words, what I have destined you to become, preordained, predestined you to become and to be and to become in this life, no wish can stop it except you cooperate with that wish. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God's sovereign plan, destiny for life, cannot be stopped by any man except you cooperate with them. Said my counsel, my people, and no matter how you say, Pastor, what well, do you mean I'm not going to be attacked? You will be attacked big time. The greater your destiny, the greater the attacks are going to go through. Hello. They will. But he said, in spite, I know they are going to fight against your destiny. My plan for your life. My pre-orchestrated plan for your life. But as long as you are with me, you are following me. He said, my counsel, my destiny, what I will take for you, what I have given to you from above. Before you got in here, must come to pass. Amen. They may delay it, but they cannot deny your feet. Amen. Someone said, Let me, he said, Satan, Satan. Someone said, Satan, Satan, you may delay the manifestation of my prophetic destiny, but they cannot deny me of the fulfillment. What you understand? God's prophetic destiny for your life. It doesn't matter what you are going through. You are going through. It doesn't matter who is against you. It doesn't matter who don't like you. What God has ordained in the eternity past who will fulfill in the eternity presence. Yeah. Ah, holy Ghost, I thank you. <laughs> what 